That is awesome, dude. Look how red he is. That's real animal style right there. <laughs> look at that. That is a day maker, baby. Oh, look at that. Real Animals, presented by Contender Boats. So this week, I got a great opportunity to fish with Captain Kyle Nifong and his brother Taylor. Uh, Kyle's an, actually an inshore charter captain, a really good friend of mine. We fish together a lot. Um, but he's got a flair for the offshore. You know, they got the big 35 contender, and he's been on me. He's like, man, we need to make a run. We need to make a run. So on my way over to St. Pete Beach this morning, I knew we were going to make a run. I just really didn't know how far he was thinking until I got to the dock. And then I was like, oh boy, here we go. Hey gang, today I'm fishing my home waters. We're fishing at St. Pete Beach, Florida. Got my good buddy, Captain Kyle Knife on. We got his brother, Taylor. Our good friend, Captain Lisa Fitzgerald from CCA, Florida is joining us as well. Kyle, what do you think, buddy? We got a beautiful day. Beautiful, slicked out, and uh, I think we're gonna make a good little run here and go try to get uh, some bottom fish and maybe a few pelagics if we can and got see a what great, happens. Great day to go offshore. We're gonna go deep, see if we can't catch some big ones. I don't, I don't get to get offshore that often. You know, a couple times a year, I get to go out there and do some filming. Every now and then, we'll get a glassed out day that you can make a, a little bit of a run offshore in the 25 Bay contender. But um, to, to have access to a 35 contender, to be with some guys that really, really know what they're doing, and knowing that we're gonna make this long run, the weather looks great. Looks like it's gonna be just slicked out all day long. I'm pretty excited. I'm nervous because I know Kyle's thinking he wants to hurt the big fella. So I'm, I'm a little nervous at what we're gonna find out there deep, but I know he knows what we're doing and uh, I know he's gonna put us on him. Apparently the approach is the approach is to hang on. Yeah. That's what Kyle said. <laughs> Kyle said when he gets to the bottom, hang on. That's why we come out here on days like today when it's nice and calm like this and you can make that long, you know, 80, 90, 100 mile run. That's why we do it because if you can get out here, especially early in the year like this, water temps are still down, fish are deep and they are hungry and it is absolutely spectacular. Uh oh. He's trying. Get him that time. That's how I got him. Oh, that's him. <laughs> that's him, yeah. That's him. Uh, it just it just got angry where it got eight. Yeah, I hear you. We're gonna put Big Kyle on a rod here in a minute. That's a mono. I don't know. Oh. Stay low there, pumpkin. He's floating. That's the problem. He's in the boat. He's in the boat. He's back here. He's right here. He's big old dusty down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right hold on. Real, 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 real. Look at the size of that thing, bro. <laughs> so you come out here all the time to okay. do this, huh? Yeah, that's the average size one. We'll get a little bit bigger, probably 35, 40 pounders. That's a good, you know, solid 25 pounder though. Out of season too, isn't that painful? That's right. That's painful right there. <laughs> Gotta go back. Yeah, we'll let that one go and try to get a few more. You know, in talking to Captain Kyle about, you know, he asked me right away, he's like, Mike, you know, what do you want to catch? And I'm like, well, I don't, you know, I just want to catch fish. Um, and if we catch big fish, that would be great. And he just laughed. <laughs> and I'll never forget the sound of his voice and the laughter he had going because it's all big fish, all big fish, big gag grouper, big red grouper, 
big amberjack, 50 to 100 pound fish, 25 pound American reds, you know, everything you get out there is pretty big, big scamp. I mean, it's just, it's like going to Jurassic Park of fishing. Real Animals is brought to you by Quantum Fishing Reels, Mirror Lure, Strike King, Rolls Axle Trailers, Bull Bay Rods, combined with Tangle Free Guides. You know, it was interesting. I was gearing up for this trip and, and I've got quite a bit of offshore tackle, but I'm not sure that I really knew in my heart, you know, how I didn't know how far we were going. Um, so I was hoping that my tackle and gear would be enough. And depending how much battle you want to put into your day, you know, if you want to fight fish, then that Fenork Title Series is a great series of rods. It goes to work on the fish just fine, but you got to work them a little. You know, you see a lot of offshore guys using real heavy, heavy tackle broomsticks that, that hardly bend, even on 25, 30 pound gag grouper and things like that. I don't like to fish that way. I like to fish as light as I can get away with and still catch the fish. But in this depth of water, you're in for some work. I've got some. Yeah, no, I'm real, on. Real, real, real. <laughs> you're on. Oh, you good? I let go of the rod. No, you cannot ditch me. You have to be my rod holder. <laughs> okay, so how did you tell me you want me? Sit, sit on the go. Uh-huh. And put it like that, and then mm -hmm. just reel. Don't let her go in the water. Hold on to her. Yeah. Here you go. That sucker might pull her in. So I put that hand right here on the reel to stabilize the reel. This thing oh, is. You get done. You go. You got his butt kicked out. When he wants to run, you let him run. There you go. There we go. It's a big red snapper! It's a really Woo! big red snapper. Wow. Now that. Oh, I'll bet you. Is a beautiful fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am so happy. So, if we're 150 miles offshore, 15 pounds, that's about right. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, that one's different go. there. That one's a little different. You know, normally when we when we get one of these days, we, we tend to load up on, you know, live pilchards and pinfish. You know, baits that are six, seven inches long would be considered a big bait, at least for most of the stuff that I've used offshore. Um, when we got to the dock and Kyle and his brother Taylor were loading the bait wells from the bait pen and every mullet was this big, and the ladyfish were this big, <laughs> and the pinfish were this big, I had a feeling that this was gonna be unlike any other trip I had ever taken offshore. You know for sure that you are in the land of the monsters if that is your circle hook. <laughs> that is a hook. I couldn't get him to stay hooked up. Yeah, pull the hook. Oh my gosh. So what is this you think? Yeah, I don't feel too big. Looks like a scamp. Oh yeah. Oh nice, nice scamp too. Oh yeah. I was going to say, that's a nice skin. Oh, he come right off. Perfect. Love their tails. Beautiful fish. He's half mermaid. That tail on the scamp grouper with the big old cool. Absolutely fantastic eating fish right here, scamp grouper. Tell about the little spots on it like that. Gag fishing here on the west coast of Florida is, is a very, very big deal. Um, big scamp, eight, ten pound scamp and, and that's one of the most delicious grouper that swim in the ocean so i mean just the fishing was unbelievable the only thing i was praying for was that my baits would get past all the big amberjack that were swimming around on the machine because good god there was some big really big amberjack on all of these spots i mean fish that you knew were going to put you through 20 minutes of serious serious battle look at my knuckles oh ouch he dragged me to the gunnel i wouldn't let go Oh. 
You got your leader, so you're getting there. I'm all stopped. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Heck yeah, it is. Heck yeah, look at that thing, dude. Hey, you might be bigger than you. I was going to say. That's a good one. Yeah, you're fine, Becky. Woo! That's the biggest one I've ever caught. <laughs> Real Animals is brought to you by Ray Marine, South Seas Island Resort, Gator Gems Tackle, closed captioning provided by Gator Ford. We've got great structure here on the west coast of Florida, uh, especially to the north, but here especially deep. A lot of rock piles and ledges and um, it, just incredible bottom for big gag grouper. Oh, she's got him real, 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 Lisa, real, real, real. Yeah, real. Start reeling, start reeling, just reel, just reel. There you go, you got him up. What you got, Lisa? There you go, Lisa, keep reeling. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the size piece. of that fish. Oh Woo! my gosh. <laughs> that is a absolute fire truck. Wow. Look at that. When I when I heard Kyle was wanting to make this long run, you know, I thought right away of my good friend Captain Lisa Fitzgerald. You know, she is the director of the CCA Star Tournament here in Florida and we're entering year five. And as this tournament has kind of been expanding and growing. They've, they've kind of pushed the boundaries into the offshore scene. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to get Captain Lee's out there, put her on some big fish. You know, it's a thing, she doesn't get to do this very often either. You know, just get this far offshore and, and go after these type of fish. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity for her and I to discuss CCA, the CCA Star Tournament, and uh, to see Lisa battle some big fish is always a good time. Real Animals Tip of the Week is brought to you by CCA Florida and CCA Florida Star Tournament. Hey gang, this week's Tip of the Week, I'm with my good friend Captain Lisa Fitzgerald and everybody should know by now, she is the CCA Florida Star Tournament Director, doing a great job building well, this thing. You. And uh, year five. Year five, year yeah. Year five. And I chose, we chose to kind of come out here on an offshore day this year. Uh, because of the offshore division, it's kind of a newer thing to the Star Tournament. This is the second year that we've had grouper in our offshore division. We've always had an offshore division. We just never had grouper oh, okay. in our okay. offshore division. And what's really cool about that is it's the four species. Right. It's the black, red, gag, and scamp. So you can enter any one of those fish on a daily basis as long as they're legal in the grouper division. And we have great prizes in the grouper division. And there's six places paid out, over $12,000 in prizes just in the grouper division alone. But then there's dolphin say, and kingfish. Yeah, yeah. So, and then you match that up with everything that's already there inshore, the tagged redfish. All the great prizes, $500,000 worth of prizes. That's correct. And yeah. for those people that don't know, this, the Florida Star Tournament's 101 days of fishing. Runs from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Right. What I, I think I like the most about the CCA Star Tournament is the multiple ways. I mean, people are fishing anyway. So you join the tournament. This gives you a chance to win $500,000 worth of prizes while you're doing what you were going to do all summer anyway. But I also like the trash division. That's my, one of my I favorites. I know it is, I know yeah. it is. And I love the fact that the, the kids' scholarships. Oh, That's, that is, to me, is so incredible. The CCA Star Banquet, watching the kids come up there and get their scholarship money, and all they were doing was fishing with their family all summer long. Well, and to date, we've given away $400,000 awesome. in college scholarships. And what people need to know is that from the tournament, our membership has grown. It's a volunteer organization and then monies from the tournament goes right back into Habitat. So, awesome. I mean, at this point, since 2010, our organization, Coastal Conservation Association, leveraged the 
almost a million dollars that we put into the water in hard projects, we've leveraged that to four and a half million dollars of habitat projects that have been done in the state of Florida since 2010. Yeah, that's why I always say if you're not a member of CCA, please join CCA. If you're in Louisiana, you're in Texas, wherever you are on the coast, there's a CCA for you, Coastal Conservation Association. If you're here in Florida, definitely definitely get into the CCA Florida Star Tournament. Again, 101 days of fishing. It's absolutely incredible. What's the website? How can they get signed up? Go to the website, www.ccaflstar. It's only $35 to be a CCA member and $40 to join the competition. $75 for 101 days of fishing with the shot at your share of a half a million dollars. Join CCA today. Help us make a difference in your fishery. Real Animals is brought to you by Maui Jim, Plantation on Crystal River, Pro Marine, Ingle Coolers, Aqua Traction, Power Pole. This week's Tackle Box is brought to you by Cleanse Oil, America's original cleaner, lubricant, and protectant. Hey gang, in this week's Real Animals Tackle Box, you know, going way, way offshore, a lot of guys like to use really, really heavy tackle. That's not really my scene, it's not what I love to do. I like to go out there with just heavy enough tackle to manage the fish we're chasing. So on the spinning rods, rod side, and especially for those anglers who don't have a lot of experience offshore, these can be really, really great tools. The Quantum Cabo 60 is a perfect offshore reel, 45 pounds of max drag on this reel right here. Great reel, 30 pound braided line, going to about a 60, 80 pound liter, perfect for deep, deep water. You can get the fish out of the hole pretty quick, perfect spinning rod setup. If you're going digging, it's really hard to beat the Fenor Marquesas series. These are Marquesas 20s, which got great line capacity on them, got a great drag on them. They even make this in a two-speed. These are the single-speed versions, but if you're into the two-speed thing, this Marquesas is a tough, tough reel on big fish offshore. Remember to always use circle hooks offshore. In this particular trip, we were using seven-aught all the way up to 10 and 12-aught circle hooks. You know, those big lady fish, the big mullet, you need those big baits. Another bait I highly recommend you taking offshore is the new Miralure Miradine XXL. If you have one of these tied on a spinning rod, you come across some black fin tuna or some bonita or a big cobia on the surface, you don't have to dig in your live well, grab a bait, it's already hooked up, you pitch this thing out there, they'll never know the difference, they'll pound it, it's a great lure, you should have one tied up anytime you go offshore. This is all the gear you need to do exactly what we did today offshore, 12 ounce weights, big hooks, lively baits, great action, get out there and get you some. You're on, real. Oh, there is oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it, it just, when they're taking line, that's really impressive. Oh, I see your fish. My, uh, a big grouper. Big grouper. Woo! That's ridiculous. Golly. 20 pounds? Yeah, we want him to swim off. We want him to swim off. Very few fish, in, in my opinion, on the offshore side that are any more beautiful. You know, the, the marbled color look of a big gag grouper is really, really impressive. And these fish coming from 260, 300 foot of water were absolutely gorgeous. You know, they call them big old rusty bellies because they get that rusty belly look to them, you know. At the end of the day, my back hurt, my elbows hurt, my biceps hurt, everything was tore up, but it was worth every minute of the trip because it's just not something you can do every day. You either have weather or, you know, something in the schedule time-wise doesn't allow you to make this full day run. Um, today just turned out to be a perfect day to get out there and do battle with some really, really big offshore fish that you just don't get unless you make that run. It's just fun to come catch those big gags and red snapper and something different and inshore. And 
So the offshore deep thing's just in your blood. It's just yep. what you've been doing, huh? Yep, a little yeah. bit of everything. I get it, man. It's super cool, especially on a day like today when it's this incredibly gorgeous out here and you just on every drop we just you just didn't know you just know what you're gonna catch that's right it's crazy okay. yeah you know, big gags at 25 30 pounds red snapper to 25 pounds it's good it's incredible huh good weather good fishing yeah good people mm -hmm. it was an awesome day nicely done all i can tell you is if you ever get the opportunity to make a long run you know this day lined up perfect the weather was right we had good people we had great equipment we had a great boat to make this long run. Everything just lined up right. Um, I wouldn't recommend it on a windy day. I, you know, you'd get beat up on a three and a half hour boat ride. Conditions were perfect, but if you ever get the chance to go and everything lines up and everything looks perfect, I highly recommend you make a trip out there because it, it, it's offshore fishing like I've never done before in my life. And I guarantee you, I will try to get the stars to align and make this trip again someday.